Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out the brand new origin story of Lubu. And they've changed it together with the latest update that they did, the version 12 update. Uh, by the way, I did a video on Lubu's old story before. So if you want to see the old one, I've put the link on the description below. Anyways, here is the new story, guys. When Lubu was but a boy, a jealous warlord killed his father in an attempt to win his mother's affection. However, when the warlord came after Lubu, his mother fled. The warlord's men gave chase and Lubu's mother could not outrun them. Lubu's mother sustained several mortal wounds on her flight but her love for her son enabled her to somehow make her way to a river. A dragon heard the sobs of Lubu's mother and appeared from the river. The woman begged the dragon to take her son and protect him. The dragon told her that he could only take one of his own kind. So she begged and pleaded and finally the dragon assented. However, there was an issue. This would curse Lubu to share part of his blood with a race of dragons and that was not something that should be entered into lightly. With her dying breaths, Lubu's mother accepted the dragon's terms. The dragon's breath of fire vanquished the warlord's men and then he vanished with Lubu into the river below. Under the tutelage of the dragon that Lubu came to call father, the boy transformed into a man of some renown and the dragon father taught Lubu the ancient ways and arts of combat and tactics and gave him armor that was made from a dragon's scale. Lubu loved the dragon father dearly but his guardian had nefarious plans for Lubu. The dragon father preyed on Lubu's hatred of the warlord that slaughtered his family and used this anger to poison him against all humanity and he knew that Lubu could become the perfect bridge to his own rule over the world of man. When Lubu was finally released into the world, his first course of action was to hunt down the warlord. And Lubu stole out from the riverlands and descended upon the warlord's sleeping camp. His might was unparalleled and his ability to create and manipulate fire allowed him to slaughter every last one of the men in the warlord's camp, saving the warlord for last. As he approached the warlord, the man he hated most of all, something quite unexpected happened. A young handmaiden stepped in front of Lubu. She carried with her the grace of the nightingales and seemed to have the ferocity of a lion. This was the Yao Chan, the maiden of whom one day poets would write about. Floored by her beauty and tenderness, Lubu's heart was no longer his own. It belonged to the Yao Chan. Diao Chan convinced Lubu to follow her away from this place of death and he willingly followed her into an enchanted grove. Diao Chan could sense the fire inside of Lubu and spent several weeks quelling the fires of rage. As Lubu relinquished his anger, Diao Chan realized that her heart was no longer her own, it belonged to Lubu. The two lived in peace and happiness for a time, until the day of the dragon father descended upon the grove. He was furious that the Yao Chan had taken his prize. Her meddling had deterred his plans of domination. He reprimanded Lubu in front of his love, demanding that he abandon whatever dreams this harlot has filled his head with. The dragon father commanded Lubu to return with him to the free to fulfill his destiny. For the first time in his life, Lubu denied his adopted father. He had seen rage and he had seen love and he chose love. This disturbed the dragon father greatly and he lamented on putting so much into such a wasted cause. Fire exploded from his nostrils as he pounced on Lubu. But the dragon father met his match in the form of the dragonborn. The dragon father was able to gain the upper hand briefly but Diao Chan rushed forward to place her hand upon Lubu and a surge of power flooded his body and together they killed the great dragon and in doing so earned their freedom. When the smoke cleared, Lubu and Diao Chan were left to roam the highlands together. The legend of Lubu drew many to their cause and he has become one of the greatest warlords in all of Antonor. As long as Diao Chan is by his side, he is invincible. 
And there you go guys, now on his old story, the one I made a video of before is more accurate if we're talking about the real Lubu which is a military general and warlord who lived during the late Eastern Han Dynasty of Imperial China. But I guess this story is better since it's more badass. I mean, who doesn't like dragons? Lubu and Diao Chan even killed one. Freaking dragon killers. Anyways, that's it. Uh, on our next video, we're gonna go check out the new origin story that they gave Ignis. So stay tuned guys. Thanks.